Hey lovies, it's your girl Nisha just coming to y'all with a video today. Um, I had a little time on my hands so I decided to get this video out the way. I have been asked so many questions about my foundation on Instagram until I just felt the need to update this video um, about the foundations I have been using for the summer. Ones I love, ones I didn't like so much, powders I'm using, you know, all that jazz. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump right on into it. And I'm going to start with the things that do not work for me. This is foundation, um, drugstore brand foundations that don't work for me, okay? And I saw this product being raved all over YouTube, so I'm like, okay, let's go out and let's try it. I knew better, y'all. But anyway, it's the Revlon Nearly Naked in Cappuccino. Um, in the bottle, it looks like it has more of a yellow undertone. But once I put it on my skin, it gave me a red, orangish undertone. And I did not like it. Um, I tried to counteract it with powders, other foundations. It just, this one, this one Revlon, this one's not for me. Um, as you guys know, I love my Revlon Color Stay and the Revlon Photo Ready. But this Revlon Nearly Naked didn't work for me. Um, and this powder that I picked up by Maybelline in the Fit Me Collection, number 360. No ma'am, it don't work. It, it, it ain't for me. Like, it's too red. Like, this camera is making it look just golden brown, what I wish it was. But, it is dark and red. And, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So, those are the two that I do not like. Okay. Let's jump on into the ones that are not so new. And, this is my L'Oreal um, True Match Lumi Foundation in um nut brown cocoa which is c78 and it looks like this as you can see i'm here and you can already tell it has a yellowish undertone in it which works for me perfectly not for the summer during the summer i have to mix it but spring it was awesome like i love this um so yeah, thumbs up to the L'Oreal Lumi True Match. Um, the other one, this one is not so new. This one isn't new at all. I think I even told y'all. If I didn't told y'all, tell y'all, I'm telling y'all now. When I got this, I put a picture on Instagram. I did it. Oh, I think it was earlier this year. The CoverGirl Queen Collection, a three-in-one um, foundation. It's let's say. Let me tell you what it says, just in case you guys don't know. And mine is in Q860 Rich Mink. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it says Rich Mink. And it is the lasting power of powder, coverage of a concealer, and the blendability of a foundation in one. Shine free, specially designed for darker skin tones. Awesomeness. Love it. Two pieces. Love it. I do think um, for fall, I'm going to have to go a shade lighter because this one, once it oxidizes, it oxidizes kind of dark on me. But I love it. Like the the finish, um, it's awesome. It's like everything in a bottle and it has a pump. So it's a win-win. I love this foundation. It is the business. Love it. Okay, and last but not least, I want to show you guys what I have found. Um, a couple of people have found this this foundation um, in the L'Oreal Fit Me Collection, number 360. Um, the color is, I'm not sure if you guys are going to see that, but right there it says Mocha. Perfect match. When I say perfect match, finally got it right. Like, this reminds me of the... Um, the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse, the liquid foundation with the airbrush finish. That's what this kind of reminds me of. Like, I love this foundation, and I don't have to mix it with anything. I can put this on, throw on my powder, and go. Like, I love, 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 love this foundation. I'm glad they went deeper 
in the shade. So 355 was a hot ass red mess and I just couldn't do it. It just could not be done. Okay. And I want to tell you guys about the powders that I have been setting my face with and the powders that I have been using. Um, and the one that I have to be careful with is this first one. And this one is by Mary Kay. And it is in bronze four. Like, I'm not familiar with how to go up or down. Like, should I go five, bronze five, and or go like bronze three and two for the powders? Because this one is like very, very red. But I've seen a couple of videos done with the Mary Kay powder, um, mineral power foundations. And some people are darker than me and use bronze two. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. Why would I buy bronze four? But yeah, anybody doing Mary Kay and I'm not sure how good my lighting is or whatever but i'm not too dark but i'm not that light you know what i mean and um i love this i love the finish it gives you your foundation but i think i just need to find my right color i can get away with it um during the summer but winter fall spring no can't do it but yeah so this is this is like a maybe but i like the finish it gives your foundation um, and the next one is my Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder. And this one is in Deep. Now, y'all know that most of us go for the darkest shade of whatever they have. And I am so guilty of this. And I love this finish as well. But for the summer, this one is just burnt orange on my face. So... I'm looking for dark, which is number four, and it's it's getting harder to find. But I think I'm gonna have to get it off Amazon because it's getting harder to find um, now that more and more people are buying this this um this brand, Black Opal. <laughs> I had to think of it, I had a brain fart. But yeah, um, I love this powder. I just gotta find it in dark so I can wear it this summer. Um, another powder that I like. And this one is Warm Hazel by Black Radiance. Okay. It's a pressed powder. It is a tad bit light, but for what I do with it, it works. Okay. I heard somebody outside my front door. What? Who does that and don't call? But anywho. Yeah. The last powder that I use is my black is by black radius as well and this one is in rich mahogany i'm gonna have to take a picture i don't know why i can't get into this today but this one is like a dark chop like rich milk chocolate type situation you know what i'm saying and even though i get darker during the summer this one is like almost a whole shade darker than me but once my foundation oxidizes on my face and then I put this powder on, it looks like just all skin, boo. All skin. I actually have it on today. It looks all skin. You know what I mean? And before anybody asks what, what foundation I'm wearing today, depending on how this lighting is, like, um, I mix them. I actually mix my three faves, which is this one, this one, and this one. It's just, I just did it to see um, what look I can get. And I actually like it. It gave me a great look today. Everybody is like, oh my God, what did you do different? Mix foundations. That's what happens. You mix foundations, you get different colors, you get different looks. Okay? So, y'all um, follow me on Instagram. I post more pictures on Instagram than anywhere. Um, I am back on Facebook. I am using Facebook a lot more um, for different connections and and stuff like that um i'm working on a blog so stay tuned for that and yeah y'all um let me know if y'all want to see any more videos um i know somebody's going to say do more eyeshadow tutorials my camera is broke and i don't know when i'm going to get another one i planned on getting one months ago but other stuff came up so i couldn't get one and um i just hate how limited my um the the editing stuff is in i move for ipad and iphone like it's just so simplistic and i just want to do so much more with editing and stuff and so i have to limit myself to how much i can talk and ugh, you know what i mean so it's it's a bit 
eh, with me for the eyeshadow. So as soon as I get a camera, you guys, I will be doing more um, eyeshadow tutorials and more makeup tutorials. But for right now, it'll mostly be about um, my hair and different accessories, different makeup stuff, and all that kind of jazz. It won't be a whole wallop, boot up, shabam type situation. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm working on it. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, um, follow me on these social networking sites and stay in touch until I get a camera. Okay, later, loves.